Welcome back. And I'll explain why not. Prince Catherine, you are now on a corridor underneath the chakra. Cold stone, marble, most likely. A corridor in front of you leads to the stairs upstairs, behind you to the cells. Not sure which one of those are sh empty, you know in which one of those you left rows and unrested. You can feel in all your body that the sun is not far away. It's coming again. What do you do? <clears throat> I reach the main hall where I left uh, all the others and I look for Theodora mainly. <laughs> the others. When you open the doors to the main hall, you reach the stairs. And after a few steps, you see Theodora in the main hall on the other side of it. In the distance, there is a Tremere from the outside standing. Theodora is currently alone. Above, you can see Fade on the balcony. For the first time, you can see him dressed up in a suit with a sweater and a tie, and his hairs are tied up, which looks at least unusual. Theodora, obviously, you realize that Catherine entered the hall. And she's clearly walking to your direction. Miss Harrow? Theodora? I'm afraid that the time is finishing, so... We need to do what we need to do with the girl. We cannot risk that Jezebel will break free. Unfortunately, this girl needs to be dusted for the good of the domain and the <sighs> us all. Well, I I understand that. Can we wait a minute? I would like to consult Mr. Demacopoulos before we proceed with that, if that's not a problem. If you want to talk with Yorgos, yes. We need to come back because uh, he is with unrested right now. Johan? Yes, Herr Reich. He stepped up would to you. you. Please, would you please watch the girl for a minute or two before we, until we come back? He nods his head. Just, just to make sure nobody tries anything shifty. Johan went upstairs to the private chambers where you left the girl. I'm going to head to the basements to find Gergus. Hey, follower. You both went downstairs again. And... You entered the correct doors. And you see unrested. Chained. 
enslaved, you could say, on a chair that looked like a pretty much dentist chair. And a heavy breathing George next to him, <sighs> holding the wall with his hand, holding hand on his chest. Refusing the beast to let out. The moment of I uncertainty. Am... Sorry. The moment of uncertainty reached George when the doors opened behind you. You jumped in a little bit, unfocused. And you see your wife and your daughter, Nikki entering the room. Not the face again! I take my distance. She looked I the same as she lived that night in Chicago. On the gala. Same dress. Same makeup. I drop to my knees and I, and I shout, SILENCE HIM! You heard the reaction. I look at it and I use dominate, saying, I forbid you to do everything, to talk and to use your disciplines right now. I never use my disciplines, Kate, you should know that. What are you doing there? What I are you do doing? I do anything with him. It's his sire. I walk through Yorgos. I take his face with my hands. Don't, Don't move. Stay near me. What's going on? I see you like the night! I thought of you too. Again? I try to, to walk away from you. Yes! He forced his way out on the corridor. Theodora and Catherine, you are alone with unrested. George, you're trying to take a breath, like your body thinks that's still breathing. <laughs> I was still alive! <laughs> Desmond, how can we stop this thing? A simple steak will do. What, sorry? A simple steak will do, my prince. I mean in general, not the immediate situation. I also mean in general. A simple steak through Amanda's heart. Yes, George. While I'm outside of this chamber, I'll try to activate Link. I'll try to contact Joseph. All right. Let me test that for you. <clears throat> What's your current hunger? <clears throat> Five successes. The pain in the chest stops. Your beast come down. You could hear... You could actually hear mumbling of Joseph threatening your beast. You could sense his presence. 
his authority and his that negative aura that follows him. He is with you. You are getting better. You can see clearly now. He got your back. Thank you. How does he do that? You belong to her. She can do with you the more than you think. I need to deal with her yesterday. What can I do? Do I lure her this? out? In the meantime, Theodore and Catherine, what are you doing? As unrested is perfectly patient, calm with a stone face. And looking at you, expecting some conversation probably, <laughs> explanations. You will give me the control over your dead squads. You will tell me everything you know that could be helpful. And after that, my dear friend, you will be dusted once and for good. Under what charges? What? Sorry, let's repeat that. Under what charges I shall be dusted? Because you should have been dusted like a long time ago. Yes. And clearly I'm of course. wrong. Under what charges? To starting to slaughter the Ekata clan, for example. Start they are the enemies of Camarilla. They are separated sect. that invaded our territory. They invaded... They, they, How dare you they talking made... about dusting me if Giuseppe is still alive? With shoes because on I your can... office. We're going around completely without control. The Cataclan came to partake to a primogen council. And when they were out of there, you slaughtered them without explanations, without telling me anything. Primogen? You mean tin blood? Cassandra's child? Outsiders? This is your primogen? I work with what we have. I'm sorry if you don't think it's enough. <laughs> you so are as mad plan. as Malcolm said. Dust me if you want. But your domination, your orders are nothing to me. You bury me. You bury me with all I know. You turn your back on me. No. Yes, you turn you your back on Oxford. When you I disobeyed Prince Crane and follow your pity emotions that blinded you from Camarilla. You are the traitor. Ask them to let me go. Because he knew what, how much I was suffering and he didn't let me. 
and I was ready to, to die. I was ready to be dusted. I was ready to join the abyss again. All I wanted is what my revenge. Yes, I admit it. And now, this is what you have. This is what you get, a la broken La Sombra. It's not my fault. I didn't ask for it. And I didn't ask to be Seneschal or to be Prince, but here we are. You're just another tool of Alexander Cray. And what are you, my friend? What are you? We are all tools of Alexander Cray, in case you didn't notice. No. Burn me. And I shall join the Golden God. Stake my heart. If you will. Eager to join the Golden Chart? <laughs> well, aren't we all? I hope not. Then may your god save you. It's not my god. Right. <clears throat> you have no heart and you have no god. I forgot. Forgive me. What you waiting for? Hmm? Maybe to listen something useful coming out from your lips, but it's pointless. I've got nothing more to say to you. Goodbye then, my friend. I am afraid that I have to do so. I step close to him and I bite him on the neck. Mm -hmm. To destroy him. To diablerize him. No. No, I will bite him to death, but I won't suck his blood. I don't want Malkavian blood inside of me. Thank you. So you're washing him. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes, the other one. When, uh, when she bites him, I'm going to leave the room. I don't want to see that. Of course. George, you sit there, leaving the room. <clears throat> What's up? How are you feeling? Kind of better for now, thank you. Joseph helps me with that shit. What's happening in there? I think unrest at this no more. Catherine? The prince is taking care of it. At this point, I am too afraid to go in there because this guy, you know, he may be a bit mad at certain things and go full auto. He was against us, and yet I can't help but feel like our group is just diminishing and diminishing as we speak. Did you get a name for, from him? Not really, no. Wish we did. We have to take care of the girl. We need to have more time. But I... I have something to ask you first. Before yes. you do that. Could you... Could you please... Try and find out maybe have a premonition 
about what's going on with her, what was going on with her after I embraced her. I don't understand it, and I do not know my way around premonitions enough to uh, be able to... What's going on with what person? Sorry? What's going on with what? Please be what's going clear. on... After I embraced her, she started speaking as if she wasn't a newly embraced child. She spoke yeah. as if she was a person taking control of her. Yeah. And she spoke as if she knew Cassandra and as if this was all according to a certain plan. Mm. Before she could elaborate, yeah. something happened with the Red Mist and I want to know more about that before we dust her. Okay, first guess that I've got from this, after you know the whole personality hijacking, personality train go choo choo. Okay, what I got, what I think is the person that knows Cassandra is per se uploaded in this red mist. That is like a, a cloud, like an online cloud. Yes, you but you see, there. The Red Mist is the doing of Amanta, or at least so we assume from what we've been told. Yeah. So, for the Red Mist to be a part of Cassandra's plan, hmm. and for that person to know me when I know nothing of them, mm -hmm. is suspicious. That's why I would like to know more before we deal I see. with her. I see. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go there. Let's go see the girl. <laughs> In the meantime, <clears throat> Samuel. You are maybe two, three meters behind. What's hard to believe, Phineas, who's now on a balcony looking at the great hall of the Chantra. He looked at you. Step up, Agent Wayland. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where is all of the Tremere clan? As far as in the they are well. Do you have? Do you have perhaps any chance of contact, Alexander? I would need to confirm a couple of things, but possibly... Bring him here. For its purpose, sir. I can feel the aggression in the air. And I know he is well adjusted to those situations. Besides, I can smell the blood of our clan in the air. You may follow me if you wish. I shall. I will see if I can contact Date. <clears throat> Get the, uh, Date's phone. Tate. Date's phone, yeah. It, uh, it, that might be the way to contact Crane. After a few signals, hang up. Hmm? After a few Please signals, please. after a few mm -hmm. signals, somebody hang up. Disconnected the call. Like, it's probably too busy to answer. I search myself for my for if I have a phone. Or if 
Yeah, something. the one you call. Okay. But they, there is no... You said that I'm too busy, they can... Can I think of any other way to contact uh, Alexander? You would have to check the safe houses of his. <clears throat> As you're going down, Trauma, you enter the Chantra. Seeing Fade in a suit and Samuel next to him. Can I walk in on some kind of date? Fade looked at you. Hi. But with no despite. And probably for the first time he looked into your eyes. Well, I didn't know you had the hearts for me. Okay. I'll look into your eyes too. <laughs> I, correction, we, greeting you. You're a hive mind now? What's going on? Where's the king? Which king? King of the Vale. Hmm. That's a good question right there. I don't know. Well, people around here are uh, telling me while well, he's dead anyway. Do they know? He doesn't sound funny. like fate at all. Hmm. You changed something? I know your look is different, but... <laughs> like... You have no idea. Oh, like with your voice. Did, did he diablerize someone as well and... You know... You're lucky I don't have the time for that. Huh? He smiles to you and he starts going oh, to yeah. the basement. Catherine, you succeeded. Mm-hmm. On your very eyes. Unrested. A member of your coterie. A person who saved your own life for dozens of times. A pirate who rebelled against his majesty. Turned to ashes. Without opposing, without a fight. Calm and stoic. Um, is Rose still in the room, right? Yes, she is. Okay. But for some reason, she did not pick up your attention. What picked up mm-hmm. your attention is left hand of unrested. Something that he was holding in his fist when she turned when, when he turned to ashes. Drop. I go to see what it is. You can see a collar open collar. Without the leash. I collect it from the ground. Please update your inventory. Hmm? Please update your inventory. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there is nothing particular in this color, right? Nothing that will be... Expensive color. Really tiny. Okay, so classic dog color, nothing special. Very posh, I mean like premium one. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got some thorns on it, 
and they are made of silver, pure silver. Okay. Okay. So I take it in my hand, and uh, then I send a message to Andrea, my goal, mm -hmm. saying, bring a human to me. Sure. George, Theodora, you can see Fade, who's entering the downstairs corridors. Yes, I know. Followed by Samuel, he's following me. Sure. The drummer, are you joining them or not? Why well, not? That's what the fun is, right? By the way, you don't have to mute yourself. Google so, just, just after <clears throat> Fade, first Samuel and then drummer are joining him. With no hesitation and without even a look into your eyes, I mean George or Theodora, Fade is entering the room where Prince is. Fade. Fade. He was not Fade the last time. And was he's he? still not, apparently, because he's wearing a suit and a tie. Yeah, yeah that's not him. That's not him. He stays out of there. He stays out of the basement. You're blocking his way. Yes. He looked shocked when you hold the doors in front of him. Sorry, Finn. It's off limits. Said so who? Says our region, says our prince. <laughs> says we. She took your heart off. Hmm? He took your heart off. He take your heart from your head. Okay. You fancy hats? If you will not move, the next thing I will take will be your head. Mr. Flanagan, I'm sure the prince will join us shortly. I'm not here for a prince. Then who are you here for? With no disrespect. Madame Reich, it is concern of the Toriador clan. This is your last warning, outsider. He give you up back your heart. Step aside, or you meet the final night. Regent. Let him through. Fine. I step aside. Fate entered the room. Catherine, you spotted mm -hmm. Fate in a suit. Who entered the room? Start to look around. You both, Theodora, Crazy Eye George, Samuel and Drummer, you all see Prince marked with blood everywhere. With the fangs. <laughs> Exposed, holding something in her hand. With the tears, not sure if it's of sadness or of anger, but of blood for sure, coming down her eyes. You all can see Lady Catherine. In a way, she probably wouldn't like to be seen at the moment. Phineas looked at you. And from the sleep... What are you doing in this room? In sleep, he gave you a tissue. <laughs> he completely ignored you shouting. I don't <clears throat> take the tissue and I stare at him. 
What are you doing here? I'm here for my granddaughter. She left up Rose. You don't touch her. Stake you... your heart with a shadow. She diablerized her. Darling, you left you leave her exactly where she is. This is the moment that we take checking your result. What's your current willpower? Mm -hmm. Give me a moment, it should be eight. Let me check. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, eight. Your current willpower. I think it okay. will uh, uh, be eight, yes. Okay, I'm testing. Two successes. He got three. Would you like to spend the willpower to reroll? Yes, thank you. So you got <laughs> two successes plus three dice. Three successes. It does make up to five, so you resisted, but you felt an urge to stake your heart. He believed up Rose. May I speak, or I'm like unsettled? You are dazed. You resisted. <clears throat> Yet you shaking. You can speak, but with no confidence in what any word you will say. Phineas, you have no right to take her. She acted against the Camarilla and I have all the right to keep her and to punish her the way I want. Catherine. Say something against me. Act against me. And the whole House of Roses will be against you. You have no right to do this. And you know. You have no right. Did I make myself clear? She destroyed the primogen. She diablerized darling. Did Clan I or not. Make myself clear. Would you like to see House of Roses in here against you? Alexander will be informed of it. Send my regards to my child, Alexander Crane. Now, I will leave, and you will do nothing, or well, I'll make sure your coffin will be closed for another century, and you will learn your place as my child's tool, or should I remind you how much you love him? And that word, that word hurt George more than I hurt you. Yes, George. I would like to activate the link. Mm -hmm. Let the speaking. Let what? Joseph, do the speaking. You're activating the link. Let me make a test. <clears throat> successes. Time pause. The only members of the conversations are Drama, Crazy Eye, George, and Joseph. He can hear you. What do you want to tell him? You know, we have a certain situation here. I can see that. You can see that, right? You can see everything. What do we do? How 
House of Roses is the only clan that did not suffer of the danger. Hmm. They are the strongest. So what he lives with? Uh, the girl now? I would recommend to write a letter to Camarilla. Mm -hmm. Go official way. There are procedures in place. Let him go now. Make him suffer later. All right. All right, all right, all right. Do you have anything else to tell me? Anything useful? What would the collar do? What collar? Ah, come on. The favorite collar. There was a right on it. And I hope the mm -hmm. collar is closed. Mm. Around wh whose neck, though? A wraith. Got it. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Disconnected. Hold that conversation for a second. Hold us. Mm -hmm. Did I make myself clear, Catherine? My lady. Let him, let him uh, go. Let him go. Let him go. Please listen to me. Listen to me. This is fine. Let him go. Yes, so, I will. Okay. It would be... Uh, um... It would not be very beneficial for anyone here to create an episode like that. If the prince attacked the Tori, one of the members of the Toriadro clan, we would all lose, wouldn't we? But if you are free to. Everyone is like uh, coming in here in the Camarilla territory and you're blubbering your mouth. Just, just fucking leave! Can't you just fucking leave? Or are you staying for tea? What are you gonna do? Take care and leave. Can we have a peek? How did it end up like this? Phineas, I'm I didn't know you said me. Left the room. <laughs> Samuel went after him. Phineas. Fade, which rolls on his hand, and Samuel just after him left the corridor, left the underground of Chantra. Drama, you are stunned. You're looking at the ashes of your sire, dreaming about this moment for many, many times when you will be able to smell him in the air that way. Catherine, you are still shaking a little bit. Probably out of anger. Theodore, are you more confused than ever? What four of you do? After at least a minute of silence that appeared. What's Does anyone else? have a... You go on. Yeah? What's with the ashes? Oh, I wanted to collect them if I could. Why? In the bag. Why? To keep them around my neck. Why? As an accessory. As an accessory. What was unrested to you? What do you mean? What was you to you? Is this not a clear question? 
Hmm. How would one describe such a thing? Um, the unprecedented evil of the world in one simple being. The giant's been, yes. Yes. Samuel, exactly. you are away. Hmm. You, you, you know that feeling when, wow, I've got butterflies in my stomach right now. Mm. What did he do to you? You should ask yourself, what hasn't he done to me? <laughs> but, oh, oh, my, how are you? My Highness, Royal Majesty, thank you kindly uh, for your... Well, generous, generous uh, um, decision, action, how you want to call it. Do I have to uh, kiss your hand now, bow down? Do I need to do anything for such a gift? How about a major boon? And that is... Go on, elaborate. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Looks like someone did you a favor there. Mm. Not entirely. Uh, I, I would have liked to do it myself, but it's still a nice gesture. A good way to start a friendly relationship. We don't have time for this right now. Now you owe her. Let's go see the girl. I go outside the room. Same. I start and your glass is alone. So Drummer is staying in the, in the crypt, collecting the ashes. Theodora, Catherine, and George are going upstairs. Samuel and, and Rose, you entered the car that was provided. And you're on your way to the House of Roses. Theodora led the way to the private chambers upstairs. But George didn't allow any of you to enter. It was like a muscle memory to block them from entering. Like Joseph manifested and just straight up the arm, not allowing neither Theodora or Catherine to enter the room. What are you doing? I don't know. Can I talk with him? Only you. What's up? They should not enter. I go, should I go myself? If you dare. <laughs> Speaking with riddles once in a while. What's what's happening in there? She's gone. Who is gone? She. The girl is gone? I. Well, you standing in a corridor while he's talking to the air. Someone took the girl while we were away. What the fuck is Johan doing? What was Johan doing? You feel this you left, you left him with a girl. And the girl is gone. That's what Joseph said, says. What the fuck? Well, he doesn't let us go in there. I asked him if I have to go there myself, and he's like, if you dare. Well, we need to check it out anyway. We need to know what happened there. Smoking? <laughs> Everything has happened to him like that. <laughs> Why, why, why can we not go in there? 
No, the girl is gone, and I don't know who took her. Who took her? And who might be in there? Do you have the collar with you? Yes, I think it's still in my hand, like... Yeah. Why is it so important right now? Yes, Joe jo wants it for the ghost. Okay. Yeah, yeah, looks like they like the dumb stuff. I don't know, I don't care at this point. Just, uh, we need to get this job done. <laughs> what is Johan, Theodora? Oh, he was supposed to wait here with the girl. That was the whole point. I just wanted her to keep watching. Do you have any other? Do you have any other exits? Something? We need to understand what's going on in there. We cannot live like this. Yeah. And we still have the the other cuckoo downstairs. She wasn't supposed to be left there alone. At this point, we have major problems unrelated to him. Also, I don't really know what to do with him at this point. And neither should I decide about that. Just the three of us and the girl is gone. This is perfect. We have to open the door. We have to look in there, at least. Yes. Can I use Sense the Unseen? You activated the power. And you can swear you saw somebody at the edge of the corridor. Hmm. A woman in a long dress. Hmm. She went from the where corridors are crossing, she just slipped between the corridors. Looks familiar? You never saw her in your life. Mm. On familiar face over there. Turn right. Where? Follow. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I follow. Mm. Do you follow him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. After three or four very similar corridors, you stopped in a grand room. Room of the Grand Magus, office of the Cassandra. Looks like someone is familiar with you, and she led us here. She might be Cassandra, I don't know. What does she... she used to wear long dresses and stuff? Maybe. The office seems Um, to be locked. hmm? The office seems to be locked. Do I have the key? There's no key lock. Come on, that's boomer stuff. You know better than that. The blob is the key. I'm gonna try to open it. You cut your hand with your tongue. You hold the handle and the doors open by themselves. They gave some sound while they enter, and what you could sense is the smell of many spices and flowers. In your very, very front eyes, you could see a very large office. Um, The ceiling is round and very high. There are many windows and massive desk, some laboratory, a glasses, and behind those glasses you can see many flowers that are rising, very healthy. Mm-hmm. Theodora, some of them you can name by the Latin names, uh, they are very important and very difficult to get parts and ingredients for many rituals and in potions. Some of them you only read in the books, never saw actually, it's still you can name them. You can see 
cage in the very corner of the room. Tall cage, like for a human. And the same size moth inside that cage. Moth with a human face. Female face. Holding the parts of the cage. Every teeth is a fang. The lips are ending at the beginning of the jaw. Her eyes are yellow and black. The pupils are really large. She screams, but no sounds are coming out. Would you mind explaining to, explaining to us what the fuck is this? Have I ever seen any of this before? No, never. Nobody would dare to get to her office. I mean, I wasn't usually allowed in here. I've This is the first time I've seen this. I'm as confused as you are. Perfect. Uh... Do I recognize the face on the creature? No. Yeah. No idea. Is this the Moth Queen? I have a doubt. I lean towards not to not too close though. Are you the Moth Queen? The creature doesn't seem to be intelligent. It's wild. She screams at you, yet no sounds coming through. Mm. I still have activated the, the sense the unseen, yes? You see no. Mm. But I don't see anything other than that. What can you see, and all of you can see that, is the sunrise that is upon you. Oh, fuck me. Can we kill this thing? I mean, it's too much of a coincidence to... It's, it's too much to be a coincidence. Like, we don't know how it relates to anything. If we kill it, we don't know what will happen. Okay, allow me to, to, to make a dial here. And I, I will link... Please raise your hunger by one. All right. Yes. What the fuck is that? What a coincidence! I was about to ask you the same fucking thing. What the fuck is this? And what the fuck is this doing in the country? Shoot it. With a cannon. Huh? Shoot it with a cannon. Well, I don't have a cannon, but I, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Abomination. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, uh, tip of the day. Tip of the day, Raiden. Kill it with fire before it lays eggs. Thank you. It hasn't got on gotten out yet, it's probably not going to get out for another night. And honestly, we have bigger people concerns. People like, in the Sandra, and they take people and they leave leaving. Yes, but to this room you can't get unless you are of my blood line. So I don't think anyone will take it. I... Let's just close the room, leave. I... We have bigger what? problems. We can't. We don't know where the girl is. She wait, 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 wait. Did we look this room to for the Red Mist book or not? I, I wasn't here before, so no, we haven't looked through here. 
Let's have a look around. Let's have a look around, yes. All of you start to check the names of the books, yeah? You found the book on rituals of Tremere, on alchemy, on ancient Viconic alchemy, on Celtic alchemy, on... Eternal Torpor spells, Scandinavian runes, uh, some journals of Norwegian Tremere's, the Book of Fall of Pyramid. And one book that was open on the chapter of the Red Mist, where it's mentioned that all the Tremere's that summon the Red Mist since 1682 are to be blood hunted by the rest of the clan as this practice becomes forbidden to Tremere as an endangerment to the family and the kind. <laughs> so this is the only reference we find at the Red Mist, or nothing else? Nothing else. And it's rising. We don't have time to look more thoroughly. In the meantime, do you think flammable? Drama, what are you doing after collecting ashes of this man? Um, well, I collect it, put it somewhere, and under my jacket, anyway. Just fill up the pockets, you know, that kind of thing. Just have it everywhere. <sighs> I look around the room, just get in the moment. Just... No windows. Dentist chair in the middle. Hmm. And no wraith. Hmm. Wow. Well, not if I give it a last goodbye and then I turn around and go upstairs. And where are you heading? Hmm. After, after, the, around, like... after the noises or. After the Whatever. Noises. After the noises, let's see what's happening. Sure. In a moment you join the rest, who are in some sort of office or laboratory. You heard the Hello. description of the room, they are all now leaning on the desk, looking at the, one of the books that Theodora translates to them from German. What you reading? Or am I not invited in here? Respectfully, please do stay out of here. Right. Okay, then. Um, I'll close the door. And leave. You close the door. And what you're doing? Waiting? Mm. I might as well wander around if I've got nothing else to do. Going back to the office. I would like to activate premonition. You saw yourself in a pool of blood, diablerizing Catrin.
Nothing else. Three seconds slightly. You know we have to kill this fucking thing, right? Yes, I know that we need to do this thing. Good, how do we kill it without touching it? <laughs> I evocate my tentacles inside of the cage. I envelop the creature and I tear it apart. Destroying. Sure. What's your current hunger? Uh, it should be two. Give me a second. What should... Yeah. Cool. Two? Now it's three. Yeah. <laughs> Such a lucky coincidence. Amazing. Sure. <laughs> you ripped them off apart. Mm-hmm with no difficulty. It start move a little bit after it was dead, but then it stopped. So it's gone? It's dead. Okay. At this point, since the girl is gone, we am... <sighs> We can assume that Jezebel will be break free soon. And we can assume that she will come for me. And we can assume that our dear friend here will take the long nap. Yes. So let's let's check on Johan before we fall we fall asleep and tomorrow we will see what can we do with all the situation. Can you ready to do something? You can do your own thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh you have a person that you use I think you called to bring the blood bugs and stuff before here. Yes. The day you were nom nom on me. Yes. That guy, can you give him a call or something? Or yes. Uh, by the way, I called Andrea to ask him to bring him yes, blood madam. here. You called him. So have a look at the Tantra in general because it's... Mm -hmm. And so, did he bring someone or not? You haven't seen him, haven't you? Okay, are you going to him again? You call Andrea? him. Yes, mm -hmm. madam. Are you able to bring him to bring us blood? In the here? Hmm? I am inside the chantra. Okay. What the fuck is going on there? Where? Where? In the hole! The, the hole that to, to Joseph <laughs> told us not to enter. What's up with that? Okay, I. Which part is it? The part that I tried to make you not to enter. Okay. Andrea, did you see something uh, unusual inside of the chantry? Plenty. Laying. Everything Plenty. is that unusual my... here. My favorite. <laughs> I mean, more than, than the normality. No, I don't think so. Okay. Do we have news by Mr. Brooks? M sorry, Mr. Briggs or someone else? Nobody reported anything to me. Okay. So, contact Mr. Briggs and ask him where is the situation in the building where um, Mr. Samanda is supposed to be. I will do that now. Perfect, let me know immediately. I'm in the Great Hall. Okay. Uh, I I go to the Great Hall. Sure. Is there? Yeah. You're disconnected. <clears throat> and Catherine leaving the room, the office. What does George do? What does Theodora do? I follow her. I follow them, I guess. Right. Actually, no. I'm going to try and locate... Uh, Drummer. You catch him three rooms further in one of the guest rooms, jumping on the bed. And what do you think you're doing? Jumping on the bed? Get off it. No. Oh, what else am I supposed to do? You don't let me go into the room, you make me do other stuff. 
Ah, I can't please you at all, Hermione, if you don't help me. The only reason I have not kicked you out after Phineas pulled that stunt is because you helped me, or at least accompanied me on the way to Zoltan Korn. I appreciate that. But tomorrow I would like you to leave. There is too much here. I don't trust you. Sorry. I don't understand why you apologize. Did you something wrong to me in regards to that? I'm glad we understand each other. In the meantime... Doors of the limousine were closed. And Fade, Phineas, however you choose to call him, had a quick stop to hunt on the way. Came back with three kins, you can call them that way. Three what? Three kins. Three ladies. Probably escort, but difficult to say. In clubbing dresses. Very happy to enter the limousine. Very happy to expose the necks. And open the veins for you. Both of you fed on them. And the third one fed rose. Which broke with the torpor. And rose. Walk up. You can still <coughs> sense a warm blood on your lips. Very tasty. Your pain of your body is pulsing, but it's way much lower than you remember it. You're in a car with Samuel and Fade. And three mortals who are giggling and drinking champagne. Are we? On our way to the house of roses. Uh, we did not yeah. have a chance to meet before. Phineas Flanagan. <clears throat> Rose Hathaway. You are chosen by Oliver. Am I right? That is correct. Okay. I thought he chose accountant. That was a previous choice. He has some explaining to do. In the meantime, he point at the girls. Enjoy. A feast is in order. The prince doesn't like you, it seems to be. Yeah, no. No. Something I did seem to, uh... change their opinion of me. Yes, I'm all. I take out my... While I'm done eating, I take out my phone and send it with me. I didn't catch that. You take your... I take out my phone and I send out an email to, to Holly. Mm -hmm. um, the I send it in a way to, for him to know that it's me. <laughs> and I ask if if there is if he has any tips about the situation with uh, 
Moth Queen if you'd like to. He responded immediately. Yeah. Run. Like sincerely, Hollywood. He said run or one? Basically. Sorry. Run. Mm. Well. <laughs> the limousine stopped. In front of a big building in the town center. Private mansion. A person that opened the door was not a concierge, was not a chauffeur. Oliver himself opened the doors. Ask for your head to get help get out from the car. I uh, take his hand and step out while bowing my head. Mm. Samuel. I get out after uh, and I make a small point with usual respect. The moment Fade get out, face of Oliver, but at least confused. But the moment he looked him into the eye, he kneeled. It's... It's good to see you, Mr. Flanagan. You are a terrible liar, my friend. He hugged Oliver, that is still kneeling. Show me my house. Oliver stood up. Ask you to follow. And you entered the house of roses. A place of a party. A very indecent party. Where naked bodies, blood, are far beyond the masquerade. Where kindreds expose their fangs freely. Where mortals are on drugs and alcohol and any form of mental disorder that allow you to take their blood freely. Many of them are during the act of intercourse that is having place in the random places and random amounts of people. The sounds of those are mixed with the music that is coming from massive speakers. Mortals are everywhere. The sense of the sweat and blood is overwhelming. But all of them are happy. All of them are in pleasure. Oliver showed you the way through the round stairs to the upper levels where you see a pub-like scenery, more like a club, with a long little bar chairs, sofas. From here and there you can see a stains of blood on a carpet or on a wall, or stains of some other fluids of the body. After the bar you went to the private corridor that was opened with a fingerprint. And you reached the office. A long, elegant office. 
very rich with the massive windows that are shaded now as the light is coming up slowly upon the Oxford. Behind the round table with the three screens you can see Alexander Crane. Phineas approached him and Alexander kneeled. Sire, it is good to be back. He hugged Alexander. Bring me up to speed, please. He sat down on a visitor's chair. Alexander looked at Oliver. Take the kids out. Oliver put the hands on your shoulders. You heard. At that moment, I look at the uh, Finnish. Which I respectfully request to stay if possible. Sorry, Anis, I couldn't catch that. I say, <clears throat> I look at my sir. My sir, may I respectfully request to stay, if it would so please you. This is irrelevant for you. Yes, please. You left with Oliver, who closed the doors behind him. May I offer you a drink? You look like you need one. Please. Say no. I've just I... I didn't think I'd be here this soon. It was not my plan to get you in here. If somebody would ask me, I would wait another five, six years. But, if the elders decided that you are worth who you are, who am I to say no? But it's about time you joining us. He wrapped a hand around you. Mm -hmm. Well, and life took its toll on me and my social obligations. Have you met Miss Burns? My child, Victoria. Am I? <laughs> you didn't even know she exists? No, I did not have the pleasure. She was a hound for a quite a long time, helping get rid of the Sabbat. Successfully finished few blood hunts on Jezebel's daughters and sons. She had a chance to learn some vicissitude. She might help you with your voice. That would be greatly appreciated. Tomorrow, or at least in the evening, I will send her towards you. Thank you. If you do not mind, I have a question. Of course. He pointed to the bar. They gave you the alcohol. Was the House of Roses the same in Phineas's at the time Phineas was here? This place was the same. House of, House of Roses was created in the 17th century as a brothel for our kind. In this context, I would say that it's flourishing. Yes, it is. The first Elysium was in here. Later on, my sire, Alexander, decided to move it for the safety purposes. 
and our clan inherited the building. Well, I could understand why he could he would move it for the appearance of neutrality at least. He looked at the pager. He drunk up. Hmm? He starts sending a message through the pager. Continue, please. Now that my sire has returned, what kind of changes will that bring to the House of Roses? Plenty. Plenty. But let's be honest. Your sire is as dangerous as my sire. That right? he can that he can be indeed. Besides your sire, threaten my prince. Hmm? Your sire threatened my prince. Which was stupid. It is not my place to comment. Of course. On said actions. I hope you understand my position here. Of course. Well... May that be a lesson for you, Rose. You can buy power. You can buy possessions. You can buy trust. But in the end, you will be betrayed. This device control the shades in the office. He downed it in a drink. Elders must be gone to stop the jihad. But no way I would offer you to taste that blood. As believing the blood of Toreadors is one of the best as they go. Yet, Alexander, Crane, and Phineas must burn to the sunlight before the Queen will take them and use them against us. She already did. I know. That's why I never trusted my sire. His return was too convenient. In three I... minutes they will burn inside this office. Is there anything we could do to free them from the Queen's hold? It would be a waste, I think. The only person that could would be Atrimir, and our current regent is a weakling, which I have no trust in. And I will not give her a life or unlife of Alexander Crane to experiment on. That's possible. my sister, though. At the moment, I'm holding the title of the Seneschal. Therefore, it is my place to announce them traitors of our kind, enemies of Camarilla, and I sentence them to death. Or what the charges would be, they would be that they consorted with the Moth Queen. Phineas was a big part of the Moth Church. 
which I know that you know. And Alexander was possessed. I hope that weakens our enemy. Oh, while we're here, Oliver, I should uh, say uh, our prince is not happy with me. Well, that's not good. But according to the traditions, you are still under my control. Therefore, your sins are mine. I believe. We can still negotiate. Thought it best, you know. Unrested, uh, outed a few things. Well, previous prince was listening only to the Malkavians. I hope the new one will be more reasonable. In the meantime, hide yourself from the sunlight. You can find a room upstairs. I will send a kin blood dolls to you to accompany you through the night. Do not leave your rooms without the servants. I will send them when the night will fall. If you will, you will be accused of spying against the Clan Toriado and we will have to act according. Indeed. But Understood. I would like to mention something. Yes, my dear uncle. What would you like to mention? Would the, do you do you think that risk Prince Catherine is taking decisions rationally. No. But I think Jezebel thinks that she takes things logically. So that's giving us a chance. Mm. Possibly. So it's a correct person in the correct place, if you ask me. Besides, it's an anarch thing to doubt in your prince. That is true, indeed. And it's a Camarilla thing to hate the anarchs. No. I don't hate you, I pity you. You've been lied your whole online. I am aware. I am aware of your sins. I was one of those who gave you the false information. I was participating in the chain. Is that so? I was doing all this. I was doing what I've been told to do by our prince. If you think you haven't done few favors to Kamarilla, <laughs> you're wrong. For example, you've met Nancy, child of fate. The only reason she was alive was that you do as we told. <clears throat> so, Crane used you as he used everyone I know and I care about. Now, excuse me. I will go because I'm dying to hear them scream. He left the glass on the bar and go for the security place.
as you feel the sun is rising. Have the blood dolls arrived to take us to the runes? <laughs> there are blood dolls everywhere around. The general population of the building is a thousand people. I look to Samuel. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna. F- Follow Oliver's orders. I'm in enough trouble as it is. <clears throat> and go to one of the closest, from the looks of it, less inebriated blood dolls. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Take me to the uh, sleeping quarters, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah, come on. Let's this way, please. I will note it's one of the more attractive ones as well. Okay. So I take the I take the controller from the glass. Mm-hmm. It's not functioning, is it? I, I smash it. Just in case. Mm-hmm. And I look at the less inhibited uh, and uh, handsome ladies that are hopefully there. Oh, plenty. And. Please guide me to my room. This way, please. And you both fed and fell asleep, hiding from the sun. Both of you can decrease hunger to one. Theodora were talking with the drama. Lady Harrow entered the Grand Hall, followed by George. And you see Andrea with four people sitting on the couches in a, in a waiting room. Completely dazed, mesmerized, unpresent. Andrea about you. I asked him to bring blood. Yes, but look at them. They are mesmerized. Why? My goal can use dominate? He not. He's old enough to know how to do the things. Yeah, sorry, I'm just being paranoid. Yes, I understand. Let's feed on them, <clears throat> not killing them, of course, and not yes. letting them go. Um, how much is safe to drink without kill them? You are familiar with the rules, therefore you help yourself with two of them without damaging them permanently. Same as George. You can decrease your hunger to one. Okay. The blood was stoic. The blood was unpresent, just as the minds. Which, George, helps you a lot. This is, this is the blood you normally take. Mm-hmm. Catherine, well, it's not your style to drink from these people. Mm-hmm. The blood was as good as any, but not your favorite. Okay. Um, I will wait for Teodora to feed as well, and then I will let them go. Teodora and Drama. So, uh, is that everything? Is this my room, by, by the way? Or am I allocated somewhere else? You're welcome to stay one in one of the three rooms. This one suits nicely. You've already damaged the bed. Ah, lovely. Thank you. I, I just broke it in. You know. You know how it is. I had to celebrate somehow. That's a glorious day today. Ah. <sighs> how are you doing? Get out of here in the in the evening, please. Oh, no problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you for your hospitality. Yada yada yada. Yeah. 
you know, you know the gist, you know the words. Yeah, camera stuff. And I'm going to turn around and go rejoin the others. You join them while they sit here. Some people. Six humans in your chantra. I'm going to feed as well. You're helping yourself. Actually, you're actually drinking I... from people, like from the veins. Actually, I'm pretty sure my hunger is zero right now. <laughs> yes. Besides, they're feeding from people, living people. Mm. Then. I'll pass today. You saw Theodora just watching you with a little bit of disgust on her face when you reach out with the fangs out and then covered in blood. She seems to be creeped out by that. You don't need to feed on them? Are you not, are you not hungry? I'm still full from when I embraced the girl. Makes sense. Okay. Once we finished, I asked Andrea to mesmerize them again and send them send them away. To every single one of them, he went and he said, "Forget about this. Stand up, follow me." And all of them left. Obviously, he do had to have... do it one by one, but. Do we have time before the dawn, or practically it's time to go to sleep? Three, five minutes before the sunrise hit the roof of this building. You need to write a letter to the commander. I know. Give them the full picture of what the fuck is going on, whatever we have. I cannot know for how long can I still support you? Amanda is nagging in my head. And I don't want to hurt you. Yes. First thing tomorrow, we have to check out the room. We need to know what happened with the girl. Yes. Maybe we could use drummer? That just just throwing it out there. I mean, if we tell him to go in there, then whatever is in there might focus on him. You know, that would be diplomatically tense, right? I mean, no one has to know that we knew that whatever anything was in there. I don't think so, Theodora. Lead the way. Okay. Yes. Where to? Just an idea. I'm going to assign them uh, the cl- the cleanest uh, guest chambers quarters I can mm-hmm. find. Yeah. Soon enough, every single one of you rest in a bed protected from the sun. Yes, drummer. Uh, I want to do something before the end mm-hmm. of the night. I want to get my phone out mm-hmm. and, as I usually do, update Tate. Obviously, at least that number with everything which transpired this night. Sure. Thank you. The sun went up. Your eyes shut down. Yes, I know. Um, can we take? One minute break, I need to. Soon enough, the sun left the Oxford. The night came. Catherine, you woke up first. A feeling of danger would come.
comes with the rain that hits the window. Doesn't make you feel comfortable at all. You stood up from the bed. And you feel disconnected to Andrea. You don't know how, but you are aware that he's dead. I run to the bedrooms of the of Theodora and George, knocking. Theodora and Same. George, you've been awakened by the knocking two doors. What's up? We are in danger, we need to go now. My goal is dead. <sighs> and I like, can assure that it's not the person easy to kill. We can probably guess whose work that is. Well, you're I mean, still operational, which is a good thing. Yeah, I mean, the spell has been transferred onto my child, which means she is now in terrible pain and nowhere to be found. Yay, hooray. <sighs> What the fuck is the drum? He was in one of the bedrooms, probably still there. And where is the other Tremere who was supposed to keep the girl? Did you look I for him? Know. I didn't exactly have time. But I, I don't think he's still here. I mean, he was supposed to stay with the girl. So... If she's not here, then either he took her or she wasn't there and he left. I don't know. Let's go to quickly check that room and then let's go. I agree. I knock on the drummer's door. Wake you, wake. Drummer, you're being awakened by knocking on your doors. I open the door. You and see I him. The way to the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take your beauty bath later. Let's go. You've been rushed out. And you're all meeting. And you're all meeting in front of the one of the guest rooms. That oh no, sorry, in private Theodora's room. Am I correct? Yes. Doors looks normal. Well, according to Joseph, it's best if you open the door, Gyrgyz. But the question is, do we do that? Wasn't I supposed to leave? In a sec. Agent, you open the door. I go behind them and activate Unseen Passage. George disappeared. That's gonna be a rouse check for you. Yes. You not become hungry. You succeeded. Mm -hmm. Uh hunger? Not increased. I one. What are you doing? Oh, who's doing what? I entered the room to check whatever happened. All right. You put your hand on a handle, which was cold, normal. You opened the doors. Before you realize that the room is empty, before you realize that the window is open, before you have a closer glimpse to the monument, stone monument, 
that look exactly like the Tremere who joined you. Shaped like he's terrified of something. You could hear breaking of the link. Some mechanical clacking. And the claymore that was attached to the doors went on fire. Catherine, do you possess fortitude? Yes. What's the status of your fortitude? Give me a moment. It should be two, but I want to be sure. <clears throat> Yes, too. And do you have toughness in the skills? Yes, yes. All right. What's your stamina? Stamina is two. So two plus two plus two for toughness. That's six. And your current hunger is one. No, two. Two. Yeah. Because it was three and then uh, decreased by one when I, fi when I fed. So you got pool dice of six in total. Two for stamina, two for fortitude on level two, and two for toughness, which is six. Your current hunger is two. And you need to defend yourself from eight aggravated damage. So two you're getting for sure. All the rest will be up to your fortitude. You got three successes, therefore you're taking five aggravated damage. Can your character uphold such a damage? How is your health bar? My health is like two, four, six, seven. Decreased by five. In a moment, a spark hit Catherine and you can see her standing in flames. Theodora, George, I'm gonna do a rough check regarding the rot shrek and fear of fire when Katrin turns into human torch. So sweet. Lovely. George succeeded. Theodora, bestial failure. Theodora, you run. You run as hell. You lost control over yourself. You, you will see that picture when you're gonna fall asleep again. When her skin is peeled off by flames. From her body, when her whole body is then in flames, and her scream going with the echo through the chantra. You run, I mean, your beast is running. You, you just fainted. You no longer possess control over you. Therefore, George, you and Catherine, who's in flames and she screams and she fell on the wall against the doors, you are alone. She's covered by flames. What do you do? Well, Sorry, around. my bad. Drummer, you were also there. Your eyes <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nearly. Nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Very smart that you didn't remember me, eh? Remind me, sorry. Um, <laughs> one success, you stayed. Okay, lovely. So you also have a chance to try. Uh, 
Do we have a fire extinguisher anywhere? I take off my hat and try, try to, <laughs> to extinguish the flames of it. She's all over in, in, in fire, everywhere. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, <laughs> you're doing... <laughs> okay, I'll the... go look for that fire extinguisher then. Good luck. <laughs> you're looking for the fire extinguisher. Yeah. What's your survival plus... Dexterity. Survival plus... Dexterity's at two, survival's at one, so three. Sure. <sighs> Catherine, is there anything you would like to do? Me? Catherine. Oh, Catherine, take it. Uh, I try to extinguish the fire rolling on the ground. Okay. Or running uh, through a source of water, I don't know. George is hitting you with a hat. Drama... Wait, wait, wait. I, I summon my shadows to extinguish the, the fire. Okay. Occult plus intelligence. Yes. <sighs> Normally I wouldn't ask you for the test, but you are occupied by the fire. Occult uh, 4, intelligence 4. Eight successes, two criticals. <laughs> Shadow covered you entirely, dwelling the choking the fire out in a matter of seconds. There are some Nosferatu, even maybe in Oxford, who look prettier than you at the moment. When you stood up, there is not an inch of skin left. Some muscles are burned to the bone. You are still steaming. Now I see why Joseph told you to not enter there. Yep. I try to heal some of my damage, That's if I can. That's going to take time. Okay. No. No, no, no. Where is Theodora? She's running like fucking crazy. Maybe she will back, come back to her senses later. <clears throat> we need to go to get out of here immediately. Yes, we do. Let's go to find her. Drummer, please. If you would be so kind, go to find the regent. Thank you. Just, I'm not here. I went for a fire Yeah, extinguisher. he's on the end of the corridor, coming back with the extinguisher. Yep. <laughs> Why do you have you, you, you see her quite late. She's already out of the thing, yet she's still steaming a little bit. Just in case I'll use it. He starts don't, spraying don't you. Dare. Don't you dare to do that. You want to do, you want to do what? Like to use the extinguisher on me? Don't you do that. Okay. I'm. I put it back. <laughs> Find Theodora, please. I walk to the corridor trying to use Auspex to see if I, if I hear a screaming or something else. No. No. I don't hear steps or anything. You can sense bricks it's... in a great hall. Okay. Talking with somebody. Mm -hmm. Whispering. Unseen passage. Mm -hmm. You're not getting hungry. You're going downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I in proceed. the meantime? In the meantime, what the drummer and Catherine does. Uh, I was told to leave the Chantra, so I'm going to leave the Chantra as I'm told. Mm -hmm. Catherine? I wait for uh, your George for the moment. Sure. Yeah. I'd like to proceed carefully and see... Do I hear the whispers? Yes. Okay. Can I... 
Cats, anything? Sure. You focused. You came closer. You be hide behind the pillar. And you look at Briggs, who is with a person you never saw before. Tall man, definitely a kindred. And uh, expensive suit with a tie. Black tie, black trench coat, black suit, three piece. Black hairs, modulated on a bad shaped side. 27, maybe 30 years old, clean shaved, blue eyes, an earring in the eyebrow, a little bit of gothic makeup, like a goth subcultural person in the lip, up maybe a dozen or more earrings in the left ear. Briggs is saying, like, uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, um, the regent is uh, going to be here shortly. I'd rather not wake her up. Uh, also, um, Catherine Harrow is here, our current prince. And uh, I, uh, uh, Mr. I don't know how to call him, uh, but he goes by George, I suppose. Uh, they are all here. Um, I, I, I'm not sure how I I supposed to react. Just keep calm. But uh, he starts waving his hands, holding some kind of letter. Like slapping the paper with his hand and pointing at him. I don't even know how you get in here. I mean, like, I've recently everybody just walk in here like they own the place, which is frustrating and annoying. And I know Cassandra would kill everybody for it. But uh, once again, who was Cassandra? Uh, that was her place uh, a few weeks ago. Well, no. Actually, this place belongs to Canola. We own the building. Therefore, we own the Chandra. Like the rest of all the possessions of Elysium. But, but of course, I do understand that it's, 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 it's going by... <gasps> it's going by, by, by... By the chain of command, I suppose. Yes, of course. Uh, obviously. Uh, can I get you anything to drink? I don't know where to find anything to drink by this point, but um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe water. I'm stupid, am I? A little bit, yes. If you could fetch me anyone in charge, I would greatly appreciate that. I did not uh, get his name, right? Yeah. No, you do not. All you, can, all you can sense is that Briggs is extremely paranoid. Like a bit extra typical. Okay. I go back to Catherine. Alright. Looks like uh, Briggs is talking with a guy. Camarilla guy. He is holding a letter for some reason. Okay. And he's more nervous than usual. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. I walk toward Mr. Briggs to present myself and see what, what's going on. Mr. Briggs turned head, the same as the gentleman that I just described, when you start walking down the stairs. Oh, there is Alice. <laughs> and he starts Don't. looking at you like. Thank you. She just shut up completely and entirely. Good evening, Mr. Briggs. Do I know the other person? No, you see him for the first time. Okay. Mr. Briggs came his... to you with a letter that is opened. Mm -hmm. You can see a state stamp of the Camarilla. Mm -hmm. And you see a note from London.
Mr. Briggs approach you and he pass you a letter saying Prince Catherine I take the letter from his hands and I read it the letter is a notification from the central HOD you could say having place in London itself stating that this domain from now on belongs to Vernon Croft who is recognized by Camarilla as a new prince of Oxford. Lovely. <laughs> Who is this? Do I know the person? Was mentioned in the letter? The man that stood next to the bricks. Not his head. Okay. I rest my gaze on Mr. Briggs and on the man. Briggs, of this? <clears throat> Briggs mm -hmm. whispered to you. Seems legit. The paperwork. I repeat, sorry, let's... The paperwork seems legit. The sigil and the signatures are correct. Did I ever meet this person before? No. No? He's, he's not from here. Would you take the decision? The higher ranks of Camarilla. Very good. Would you mind bringing me up to speed in current situation of the domain? Absolutely not. Um, maybe Vasilis wanted to say something. May I have a look at the letter? Yes. I take a good look and I activate link. You become hungrier, but <clears throat> under every what? signature you saw face. Hmm? Under every signature you saw face. Mm -hmm. Joseph recognized those people, those kindred. As a prince of London, prince of Bristol, prince of Reading, prince of Abingdon. And few more. I name them. Mm -hmm. Out loud, the name that I see on the seals. The heads of the local cities, the heads of all the Camarilla cities, guarded and made a decision. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, yeah. My dear, it is legit. It is legit. Uh -huh. Uh, repeat me the name uh, of the person, please. Vernon Croft. Croft. Vernon. Vernon Croft. Mr. Croft, uh, of course I will be happy to tell you everything I know about this current situation. Much obliged. I lead him to a empty office. Mm hmm um, Mr. Briggs and uh, he's following George. you. Okay, perfect. So I lead them to an empty office and I close the door once they are all inside. Mm -hmm. I will give. Oh, sorry, go on. Sorry. Go on. 
my intention was to write to Camarilla really soon because clearly the domain is not under my control anymore. The Sabbat is attempting us, the hunters are striking us, and uh, because of the cult of the Moth Queen, we lost practically almost all the Primogen Council. That's not good. To say the least, it's not. I and assume I just... you are in famous patron Harrow. Am I right? Yes. That's me. I'm too apologies. Could you introduce yourself, sir? Just a Then I'm And your status, sir? George, if I may. Who are you? No. I have no status at this point, uh, good sir. I um, used to be a son sentenced, got pardoned by Captain Joseph himself. I heard of that gentleman. He recognizes all of the gentlemen that have sealed your uh, letter and will. Uh, are you his child? Not directly. He... It's difficult to describe this part of me. We could say that George, forgive me. Yes. He carries, he carries inside of his mind Joseph. You'd lab and... No. That's not correct. Joseph chose to join George's mind instead of the link, the Malkavian link. That's Malkavian stuff. All right, let's not focus on it then. It has to do with the whole situation. All right. Before For the next the month, month, at least one, I would prefer if Madame Mahara will help me smooth the transition of power. You will be my right hand. I am at your service. We need to rebuild the Elysium, uphold the masquerade, and deal with all the stuff that's happening. For the time being, I will call Elysium one of my private buildings in the city center. My PA got to contact you. Here is my personal number. He gave all of you the business card, including Mr. Grid. And I will call on my hands from London to join the fight against oppressors. Traditions of Tonight I'm a meeting Zoltan Khan regarding the negotiations of it. But his willing was to meet me. Is there any advice I should listen to regarding dealing with that? might have something, one thing or two. <coughs> first thing first, uh, Sultan used to be supplied by our domain, by a specific hospital. Their blood, they do not tend to hunt. They refer to themselves as peaceful, mm -hmm. and they use medical blood. I'm familiar with the cult of Mitra. We had them in so, Liverpool. This happens to be a hospital with which uh, I may provide you with some contacts to help with that. But at this point, I don't know 
what we could do with all that because of the church, because of the legion, they happened to storm there and uh, grab all that mortal blood. They used it to transfuse it, to turn it into kindred blood. It's lots of things that have happened and it will need time to put everything in detail. The most important thing is uh, one of the factors of the peace between Camarilla and uh, Golden Church was our keeping Jezebel, the generation Simisi, lover of Sultan Khan. As hostage. He was, yes, a hostage of us. We kept her. Once yes. If she's his lover, why he want to keep her away? It was a, a pact of peace made many, many years ago. But it doesn't make sense, does it? It's under Alexander Scrain uh, decision. Yes. Anyway, the Sabbath very likely freed them, free Jezebel. So at this point, I don't know if she can be part of the peace. Keep that in mind. Also, spread the word to the rest of the Primogen, Scourges, Harpies, and members of the Camarilla. Notify them about my presence. As I do, reset the traditions of the men. And I'm looking forward for everyone to introduce themselves. What's the best way of contacting you? Sorry, Lesh. What's the best way of contacting you? Unfortunately, I'm not really used to the technology and uh, my goal died, the one who used to occupy about these things. Do you have a contact tour? Or anyway, Mr. Briggs can, uh, Mr. can be good for the role. You can contact him and they will let me know. Uh, and my mention. <laughs> Tin blood becomes useful. Right. I will allow you to put yourself together and probably say you certainly need to. Yes. Uh, question to storyteller. Mm -hmm. Briggs is not with us in the room. Right. Briggs is with you in the room, yes. So, okay, because I will have to have a talk with you later. Second, can I have a piece of paper or something to write something? There is plenty of paper on the side. You can grab I would grab a paper and uh, write down certain things and hand it over to the mister, to Mr. Croft. And I what is that you're typing? I will uh, text you right away, mm -hmm. if it's fine. Sure. A private message. In the meantime... Theodora. You regain your conscious. consciousness. Consciousness. Okay. You are in your mother's coffin. Feeling ashamed, terrified, and definitely unworthy. I'd like to get out of it. You open the, the door over. And he went out with no obstacles on the way. 
you are in the private chambers of your mother. The same that Kevin called home for a while. The room looked exactly like it looked the other night. Yet your vision is a little bit blurry. Not exactly now for what reason. You feel that your beast inside is still shaking. Can I, before I leave, can I check the passage to the tunnels of the Undercity? If you open the mirror, about it? you open the mirror and you can see the tunnel. Does it seem like it was used recently? Nothing indicates. Okay, I'm gonna close it back up and leave. I'm gonna go and try and find Catherine and Gyrgos. You cannot seem to find him. Neither them, no drama. I would then I would like to go to the to Casa, to Casaras uh, chamber where we found the uh, moth creature. To the office. Yes. Mm -hmm. You cut your hand, you open the doors. You are in the level of the office. The creature inside the cage is alive again. Head teeth that are exposed are hissing at you with no sound. They try to focus on us and use premonition. You saw Alexander Crane and Phineas in the sunlight, burning into ashes. A few slides, a few pictures. Is it record that? You don't know the place where it happened. Some sort of office for the mass offenders. And I look. I'm gonna look around for a bit, try to find anything that might relate to the creature. You start to search for the note. Mostly all the stuff, ordering for, for ingredients and, and benefits from, from her locals and clubs, financial stuff that's revenues, business plans, few mythical orders like Wolfsbane or, or Verbena for some alchemy. Nothing about the loss.
In the meantime, G. Last time you recall, you've been with everybody in the room. If you had some plan and you used unseen passage. That was till you were forced to start walk. Nothing else would exist. You didn't know where you're walking. You didn't know why you're walking. You didn't think while you were walking. You become a marionette. Yes. You start walking through the night. You went to the container on the street, to the rubbish bin, when the day appeared. And when the night fell again, you woke up and you start walking. Between humans, around anything. You start walking east without knowing why or where exactly. Well, you know where, although you couldn't pinpoint that on the map. You've been cold. You've been summoned. You have been beckoned. And that would not stop. If not thought of Luan. Maybe five miles after the city, you regain control. The moment you saw a person that is similar to her. But it was not her. Just another blonde teenager who went past through you on the street. Makes you a photo of her. And for the first time something happened more important than going east. You cannot blame the street that you are on. It's barely night again. You had to slap yourself quite strongly in the face too. Wake up, shake up from that feeling. What do you do? I have no idea where I am. Still in the Oxford. Somewhere on the east side. Uh, you don't know the others. There are still population growing through here and there. There are still humans, morphs on the streets. Is there, a tel is there a telephone booth anywhere? Yeah. You will find one. Not a problem. Find one. I'm going to um, one side, the telephone. Just say, where are you? Silence. Just the signal. Is 
is. I recognize any any landmarks or anything. That I'm well, it's, there will be some kind of street signs indicating which way to go to go to the city center, for example. And there are cops on the streets, but yeah, you've never been here before. search myself to see if I have any um a phone number any a phone numbers or any way to con any even if I have like a phone on me. Contact. Everything that you had on your inventory is still with you. Yay. Cool. Um let's see if I can contact Jonathan. After a few signals. Pick up the phone. Who's that? Giuseppe. Who? Picked us up. Drove us. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Yeah, I know who you are. Said. Uh, yeah, Mr. Briggs told me that he gave you my number. Uh, How can I, I help? help with something. I need you to help with something. Uh huh. Hey. What the? Uh, remember that blonde kid that he was talking to? Some time ago. The mage. Yeah. Need mm -hmm. your help finding her. Okay. I know very little of tracking the mages, man. <laughs> well, how'd you find her before? Uh... Alexander Crane gave me a laptop that was enhanced by mages. So I have it. Good. Look, I'm at the corner of, um... At the corner of, um... You're giving him the address. Okay, so... There's like a gas station. Uh... There's another one. There's a strip joint. And then there's, uh... You know, you don't know where the place is. Yeah, I truck your phone. No worries. <laughs> I will be there in about 20 minutes. Cool? Sure. Sure. Alright. Giuseppe. You heard typing on the keyboard. No problemo. Stay still. Be disconnected. <laughs> In a matter of how soon it is, 15, 20 minutes. You saw the same van that drove you off from the burning house. He stopped next like honk. Open the doors and say hop in. Get in. You don't need to have a discipline of our specs to know that something's wrong with him. First of all, he's a tin blood. He got like a cap on his head, piercing in the nose, cigarette in his mouth. Between the legs, he have a bottle of beer. No seatbelt, hoodie. In here is a mess, smell of McDonald's. Actually, this car smells worse than you. For a change. He starts to drive off while still smoking and you hear his lungs working. He reached to the doors from his side and he gave you a small 
plant over. this thing work? Uh, first you press the power button and all that kind of stuff and later on you go to the goblin command center. I'll see no power button. Uh, he took that from you. Let's just stop somewhere and we will... I, I will help you with that. Okay. And then he stopped in the alley. He turned off the engine. Opened the laptop and stopped typing. In a moment you saw the map of the Oxford. It was big and become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it stopped and pinpointed the location. Yeah, <clears throat> it's in here. This is the tracker of the last spell that she used. Where is it? It's pointing at the local called Club of Roses or something like that. I know this place. It's where Crane is having his office. Okay. They're not gonna let me in. They're not gonna let you in. You tell yourself that. Ah, cats just said that, man. It's in this place. Um, I don't know. I've never been in. They don't let my kind. I'm like 19th generation, man. to do that, I will have those guys on my back in a second. They've got 20 guys like me. They've got a whole fucking company. How far is it? Are we from this place? I can maybe do that. She used her magic, vulgar magic, to communicate with a kindred named Axel. He's in Oxford. Bad. Bad. But I don't have any info on him. He's okay. zero. I can I can replay the message that he, she sent to him. Do that. Hear In this. a moment he played audio, and you heard the one voice with the background of the sounds of the television, like the channel is not picked up, stating, "Help me."
that's consumed a lot of her powers to do. She must be weak as shit. if you want, but after that I'm fucking gone. Put her hand 
anything that you would like some help with, I give you one of my power. Thank you very with, much. Uh, with some. Um, she put it your business cards to her bra. Is this the Olivia of it? Unfortunately, no. My sire had an urgent matter to attend to outside of the House of Roses. He instructed me to fetch you and show you the doors. Very well. She pointed at the people around. Help yourself, I will be outside. Unless there's a necessity for any discussion, then I'm all ears. I would like to have some matters clarified, but uh, I, unless your time is limited, of course. I have so, all the time in a world. So, I assume that you are familiar with my position and uh, where I stand, set by you trying to impress me? No. Not my intent. You're trying to show off? <laughs> Is that do you know who I am kind of question? Yes, I Not know who you are, Mr. Wayland. Not I remotely. I was born yesterday. It was neither my intent, nor I, nor I practice such mundane tactics to impress people. That's good. That's uh, healthy for you. What I would like to ask of you, unfortunately I must ask Mr. Oblivion himself, is given, uh, having said where I belong, both of, both of us knowing where, why I was exactly invited here? I, what, what Mr. Oblivion had in mind, if you would know? I would like to remind you, Mr. Wayland, that you were not invited here by my sire. That is true. If my sire would invite you here, she came closely to you. Her subterfuging skills are high, and your resistance to such a behavior is low. In a few seconds, tips of her long nails were next to your veins on your neck, smooching you. He would invite you as a snack. She steps aside again. Good. I'm glad this is clarified. You can be one of few who can proudly say that they spent the night in here. And are still intact. It has definitely been a memorable experience for new virtue. We got to ask special ways around the Anax in here. We treat them just as much good as they treat their victims. I will be that. Good. Is there anything else, Mr. Wayland? No. My dear sister, do you need any assistance? 
I believe I'm okay, but did Oliver have any requirements of me? Not today, I'm aware of it. Okay. So no instructions other than to uh, lay low. Unfortunately. But you can call him. I'm sure he will pick up the call from you. So it's probably best to uh, not outstay our welcome, eh, Samuel? Oh no. Rose, you can stay. I can. Oh. Uh. You are home. He is our guest. I think I'll contact Oliver and see if there's anything he wishes of me then. Probably yes. best for me to stay. Understand. <laughs> you do that. Um, can you ask him something from for me, if you would be so kind. I would like my sire's personal belongings, if that would not be too much trouble. I'll pass on your request. Thank you, Ru. Well, I hope you'll have a pleasant stay here. It is your home, after all. Yes. We'll take some getting used to. Do try not to get in trouble, Samuel. Please, I what shall. Have I, what have I ever got in trouble? <laughs> well, you know how to find me if you need me. No. I believe that some conversations are due. Let me escort you, Agent Raymond. She flips underneath your arm. And from the distance you look like a couple with a few years of experience. Or maybe she's just well presented next to the federal agents. She starts to escort you down. Rose, you are calling. I'm calling Oliver. After a few signals, he answered the phone. Good evening. Uh, hello, my sire. Um, I've stayed within the house. I thought it best to remain undercover for the time being, unless you had any wishes of me. You are free for now, if you want. I'm dealing with a new sheriff. Okay. Regarding um, issues. I'm a bit confused and a bit busy. Okay. Um, I shan't keep you long then. Um, though Mr. Wayland did ask me to pass on a request to you. He was wondering if he could have his sire's uh, personal belongings. Text him my number. He can okay. call me himself. Okie dokie. Yes, sire, not okie dokie. <laughs> yes, sire, apologies. Way much better. He does good. I will text Samuel Oliver's number while also requesting Try not to piss him off. <laughs> At the moment, he's too busy with a conversation with uh, those who presented this person um, about the general art and conspiracies and so on. Because for some reason, Samuel, your mouth cannot shut when you're next to Victoria. In the meantime, Katrina and Crazy Eye Joel. No, sorry. The drama.
You are strong in Chantra. No, you left. I left, yes. And you left. So, I don't know how it went with the timeline, but I would left before Croft came in. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good to see that. Yeah. Lovely. So, am I outside the Chantra? Uh, outside the Chantra on the car park, yes. Okay. Love it. Uh, I'm gonna give Junior a call. Junior. You know, Junior. Samuel Weyman. Samuel Weyman. Yeah. She did not pick up. Uh, well. I guess he's busy. Um, well, I've been kicked out there, and he's busy. I'm getting responses from Tate. I have them. Um, might as well enjoy myself. Let's go to town. So, yeah, I plan to head into town. Long distance declaration you feel a new party, yeah? Um, more on the sense of university area, kind of like, like where the university students would go, that kind of stuff. Um, but the general intention is to get fed and to party. Yeah, domination when need to, you know, forget everything, etc. that kind of stuff, so sure. the usual. Right. And you're doing that until interrupted, yeah? Yes. Okay. Catherine and George. I left you with new prince, Croft, and Master Prince. <coughs> yes. Right I then. To show to see. You pass them as paper to him, right? Yes. Yes, I am familiar with Yuck. He hide the paper. Thank you for that, Mr. George. I'm glad that we have the same goal in here. I do understand why you keep him next to you. I want to learn later on. There's no other way. Well then, I would like to invite you to the small party I'm training us tomorrow night. I hope that all of those unimportant will show up. I will obviously celebrate taking the power by decapitating the head of Mistress Amanda publicly. Please don't miss Can you give that one more time? The execution of Mistress Amanda will be held tomorrow night in the Royal Elysium. Please join. Come with plus one. May I ask a favor? At the beginning of the new relationship, of course. It will be very important for George to speak with his Samanda. You can join me now be... and go to the Elysium. My sheriff is holding her capture. Did that happen? <clears throat> Yesterday night. <clears throat> Yesterday night. Oh, today. Day, if you call it. It's up to you, George. Yes. Your thing. Yes, yes. I will be so grateful for that. Joseph informed us about the coup approximately a week ago. 
if uh, Zoltan Khan wouldn't hold the borders, it, we would be much quicker. Yes. It's how to get smart. I understand that drastic situations in yeah. drastic matters. If there is anything you've done that you are not exactly proud of, it's better to ask for forgiveness now than to make me find it out about it myself. Like, I may have the pardon of my clan myself. I may have the pardon of Joseph, but I'm here for the Camarilla. Joseph was nominated and if he pardoned, he had a full right. I am willing to inform you that last night I dusted and rested. Because uh, he killed Who Prince Frey, former sheriff of uh, the domain, a Malkavian. You uphold the status of prince by the time of the doing, therefore I see no breaking of the law of destruction. And there is something I want to point to you. A child with the name of Rose Atway confessed to me to diablerize uh, a primogen, Nosferatu primogen. I was going to put my justice upon her, but uh, an Arctoriador took her away from me before I was able to do so. So I warmly suggest you to ask some questions to the Toriador clan about it. I will. So much to talk about. How does it? I will ask details during the investigation or send my sheriff to complete the statements. So, who is the new sheriff now? I have a dear friend of mine, the only person I he goes by name Mr. Ahiba. Does the name say is it anything about nationality or anything? Does it? Mm, mm, Eastern? It's yes, kind of. Eastern, I guess. <laughs> Can I have a talk with Mr. Samanda? Any given time. He took another piece of paper and written down by hand a permission for a meeting. Pass that to my sheriff and he will urge you to your sire. Of course, I will join you. Alright, what else can I help you with? Mr. Briggs needs my help with investigation of certain disappearances, which I'm more than glad to provide. If I can, may I just uh, suggest one thing. Mr. Briggs raised his hand to Mr. Croft. Yes. Sorry, Mr. Briggs. Um, due to the service that Mr. George provided the main, I would strongly recommend him to sit down with the promotion table as Joseph, who's in his head, always was. It will be taken under the consideration. If any new events or any important things will appear, please do not hesitate to contact me. 
I'll be sure. Can we just have a safe place to reorganize ourselves? Because this year is not exactly safe for now. Probably. Yeah, really. And that was the moment, Theodora, you realize you're not alone in the chakra. You had movement on the stairs. I'm going to go down first in that case. You pretty much run to the balcony and you saw some random guy in the troach who just left the chantra. Like he's in his own place. And you can hear Lady Harrow and George in one of the meeting rooms. That for some reason is open. Um. I'm going to go downstairs and go meet them. Just a few seconds after Croft left, when Griggs is doing something on his phone, you see Theodora storming to the room. Who was that? The new Prince of Oxford. Come on. This, it's it's best, and uh, honestly, I approve. <sighs> Hopefully, he will know what to do better than we did. Apparently, Mr. Samanda was uh, already captured. This is a good news. How? His sheriff made it. I cannot uh, give you details because uh, I don't know them. Anyway. Interesting. Bricks! Not his head. I do apologize, but uh, my services I needed as If anything, just call me. He smiled and left. Thank you for everything. Briggs left. Three of you stayed in the office. Meeting room, you could call. I think it's time we take our leave. Yes, please. Thank you, Jodora, for your hospitality and for helping us with dealing with everything. You're welcome. I think I better start cleaning up the place. Doesn't don't really have anything better to do right now, unless you have anything on your mind that you want me to check out. Will you be alright with a dead pet in the office? Oh, right. That uh, funny thing, it's not that it's, it's back to normal, it's back to life. I don't know what, what happened. Whatever Cassandra did, is it safe? The gauge is still uh... ah, it hasn't gotten out yet, so I'm assuming it can't, but. Yeah, it's back to normal. And also, funny thing, I tried to have a premonition. Don't know if I did something wrong or not, but um, what I saw was Crane and Phineas in the face body burning. Yeah, nothing else. That, that was it. It was very quick. Loud knocking to the doors of Chantry interrupted your words. Now you go open the doors, it's fried already. Thank you. Uh, okay, I will. Um, I'm gonna look through the, through the window in the door first. 
you see approximately 16 to 20 police officers. It's the police. Okay, uh, they know what do I do? We go and hide somewhere. <laughs> It's better if we enter the comes with us. It's better if we leave this place immediately. Well, I, I, I can't let them search through the chantry. That's a blatant breach of a masquerade. Even you have to ask them what they... Yes. Uh, am I able to dominate them all? Six, five, seven, okay. Six in twenty, no. Okay, you take care of me. I can try. Okay, I am. You go. Uh, at this point, I'm going to kind of brush off and um, and open the door and slip out of the building. Hello. Good evening. The officer who's leading the case showed you the badge and afterwards he gave you the letter. While he was doing that, you can see on the premises of the chantry dogs with them and many more police officers searching the garden already. What is this? What's going on? Can you read? Of course. I'm going to unfold the letter and give it a read. A warrant. A search. Regarding what? Fugitive. By name or not? They showed you the picture of George. Of the long hairs. And cream look like this. You have a British eye. Can I see your passport? Or let me just get it real quick. Sure, we can enter with you. Due to the aspects you you had in the conversation. What does that mean? We need to take care of this. Yeah. I wait for them. I I I I either like around the corner. Okay. Mm-hmm. The step in. Mm-hmm. Uh, until uh, yes, everyone will be inside. I will uh, cast the shadow on them. Just to keep them, you know, like uh, <laughs> unable to go around, and I will try to dominate them, like uh, step by step, all of them. Again, you got one turn. What are you doing? Okay, okay. For now, I just like either on the corner, and I wait for them to come in. All right. Sorry. Dogs start to bark, informing them that you are on the corner. A. The officers are entering the room after Theodora letting them in. George, what are you doing? I'm seeing persons. You disappearing. <laughs> Your current hunger? I think this one must be two. You can increase previously. One success. You did not become hard. You disappeared. They entered the room. And out of 16, two spotted you. One starts to scream. Because of my cute appearance, I suppose. 
Okay, um, I want to use like uh, mm, the um, tenebrous form of tenebration. Mm-hmm. Slide into, into a shadow and then I become a shadow. So one turn. What do you do? I am already in a shadow behind the corner. Mm-hmm. You become okay. a shadow or you're taking a terrible form? Terrifying form. Uh, I, I become a shadow. Five right. level of it. Sure. Your current hunger? Uh, two. You become hungry. You transform okay. into the shadow. The guys look around like, whoa, I'm a fuse like a monster, I'm telling you, dude, oh my god. They, they put him on the side like, you don't know what you're talking about, take this man out of here. All the rest search the place. And they start swarming around. Three of them are going with Theodora. Where are you leading them? I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to go to my room and I'm going to uh, take out um, some documents from jar by the bed and I'm going to start flipping through them as if looking for the passport. You know where your passport is, it's not, not a problem. You do have a problem ID. Right I know, them I'm, try, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to stall. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. After about two or three minutes of that, I'm going to go and actually go get my passport. Mm-hmm. Well, the moment they entered your chamber, your private chamber, first they looked at the statue of your home. Next to the bed. Well, I was like, looking at him. The other one asked, is everything alright? Did something happen here? when he came to the window that was broken. Uh, we've had a couple of break-ins during my absence. Uh, we didn't report it because it seemed to have been dealt with already by uh, a neighboring security company from what I've heard. Uh, we, we haven't been yet. Was it expensive? He started not on the Touching. Uh, no. Really it good was work. a gift. He looks it like was he's a alive. Gift. Yeah, doesn't he? Uh, I was thinking about put, putting him in front of the building, maybe, or maybe one of one of the balconies. Uh, anyway, here. Oh, I think I know where my passport is. One second, and I'm going to go go get my passport. Mm-hmm. You pass them your passport. You start reporting your data. That's how I tell them. Confirming your information. In a moment. The police is empty. Here the people join with their heavy handbags. CSI, lab, etc. Catherine is also there. I am heading out, out of the door. Using the shadows, I move my until to go out. Joe. I silently go for the exit. Question. Mm-hmm. Uh, do they... Uh, I suspect they have uh, vehicles outside and stuff. Plenty. 
they even putting a yellow tape around the building merely to stay out of the crime place. It's quite the end. Um, do they happen to be the the vehicles with the cam, with the dash cam? Yeah. So I take my best uh, route to you know cover myself. So. I will not be cast by any cameras or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, question, Lesh? Yeah. Should I have steal my car out of there? No. Only your car just in drive, huh? So he left with it. You don't know where it's left. Right. You evacuate. Giuseppe. You reached the house road. And conveniently enough, at the very front door of Swiss Samuel, he was just escorted from one tall, pretty lady that waved to him. And he stupidly, with a with awkward face, was waving to her back. Then she shut the doors. What did he Busy street of Oxford city centre. Plenty of people around. You look like another happy customer. Exiting the brothel. I start to go away. Take my phone out. Good. You got Getting a message ready. from the drama and message from Rose. What did the message from drama say? Miss Cold from drama. Oh, Miss Cold. Oh. I call drama. Drama. Middle of a party, heavy music. You see that Junior is calling me. Junior! What the fuck is that infernal noise? Where are you? What did you want? What? <laughs> what? The... I cannot hear you. Okay. It's greater than usual. G, what are you doing? I'm walking up to the entrance, walking by Samuel. I'm gonna knock on the door. Just, I see him. Nothing right? happened. Ring the doorbell. There's no doorbell. I I call Nikki. Yeah. Thank you for calling. I was waiting. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. You? Good. Good to hear your voice. Listen up. Let's think. You know, work really hard. You do a lot of good, you know, you get a lot of good grades. Let's think like, you know what? You should, uh, with me, you should have a little bit of a fun sometime. So I was thinking like, if you're not sure. showing anything tonight, um, yeah. Give me get a little exercise. We I got, got some studies with fuck exams. Yeah, fuck that shit. There's a big house of leeches that needs to be um burned. Worked. Why not? Why not? So what is it? Um, just keep in mind they got something that belongs to me in there, so we get kind of like. Uh, okay, 
Yeah. It's gonna look like a gas leak, don't worry. Just remember, I got somebody in there that I need to get out safely, so... Take your time, have fun. I when you get here. Something. Just text me the address. Perfect. Be that kid. Thank you. <clears throat> Samuel, yes, your head up in this issue. I approach to the turn back. Anyone who's okay. Hello, boss. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Voice out that. Uh, what? Voice sounds better. That it does, and I really enjoy that. But um, I fear you have a rather call of conversation. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Let's get some private space. Tell me what happens. Oh yeah, um, you don't re you remember Luan, right? Of course I remember. He's trapped in there. Fuck. Well, before doing anything extreme, okay. I'd like to inform you that also Rambus is there. And if I have some personal interest right now to, to not let the house, this particular house should get burned down. How about I make a call and see what I can do? Oh. Yeah, there's just one small thing. I kind of, I kind of promise, like a um, really um, young, beautiful, horny, great kid that uh, we was gonna, you know, do stuff tonight. So, that sounds that sounds revolting, but yeah. Oh. I did not knew that you had this kind of particular tendencies. It, gets, it only gets better from here. Don't worry. I'm sure it does. <clears throat> How do we proceed? I'm going to make a call. You stay put. Wait, let me somebody send me a text message real fast. Like, uh, but I text Nikki and like, um. Maybe not burn it down just yet. But definitely no. lots of leeches. I I take my phone out and make a call to Oliver. Ding. Message from Nick. Last strong. Hello. Mr. Whalen, I suppose. Yes. Um, there I have uh, two issues that I would like to ask your assistance with, if possible. Please make it quick. Um, one of them would be returning my Cyrus personal belonging. Like what? If any items on his person, phone, this kind of thing. No Nothing. Problem. To... Lovely. And the second one, I was told that an ally of mine was in the house against Sir William. I would like to see if. Like she is a f her name is Luan. Maid? Yeah. I have no knowledge of that. Is that so? Um, never Don't get me wrong, I've got many blood dolls, but... 
I think I would recognize it. And True. believe me, no one in the House of Roses is against the game. Be that as it may, I like for the matter to be investigated as. I'll is. look into that and call you tomorrow. Thank you for for your efforts and your kindness. No problem. Have a good night. You too. Some somebody reached your arm. Grabs you. Looking at Giuseppe. Well, you are not from here. And the person who said that, Giuseppe, you have no idea who she is. Samuel, you saw this person. Really? You saw her in a coffin, covered by wounds. You see Jezebel, life and free. And touching him. I mean, a couple of step backs, steps back. Something's wrong, except the blonde woman in the age before 30s. Wearing modern clothes, business clothes, you could say, with a handbag in her other hand. You look like you saw a ghost. Um, that could be said theoretically. Yes, Giuseppe. No. So, while they're doing that, I'm going to send a text message to Rose asking her um, if she's in, if um, she's inside and if she is aware that Luann is inside. Okay. You see, Giuseppe is more interested with his phone. Um, it's just that you remind me of some. Oh, do I? Yes, uh, I just heard this from you. Never actually met you. You've heard about it? Of course I did. What? Sebastian was, what? Sebastian was talking highly about you. Is that so? And well, what reason was he talking highly about me? That you're good for business. And that you are sweet. I have been accused of both of those things yet. Right. Well, I just popped in to say hello. And I did not catch your name? Jezebel. Jezebel Harvey. Oh. My regards, Anderkin. Wink at her and say, Have a good evening. You too. Question. Um, a scale of like one to ten, how attractive is she? Eight, nine. Okay. Um, I give her like a nineteen. I give her like a nineteen fifties compliment. Sorry. S some compliment. So something that say like some something that says like yeah 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 you're I find you very attractive. Did drop some fly text. She didn't catch it. Giuseppe, dearest, we have some work to do. Mm 
we kick it in the door now or later? You have no idea who that was, did you? Catch me and George. You found each other two hours ago. Two hours from the Chantra. You become visible and you form lights back to the, from the shadow fall. When you only appeared, the conversation that just had place has been sent to you as a video. It's a Giuseppe Samuel Jezebel in the street. The message was sent by Paul. The conversation, the scene that just had placed, was sent to you as a video recording when Giuseppe, Samuel and Jezebel met on the street. I see it on the phone? Yes. Did everything? Yes. We need to hide. We need to run away. I can I ask you a question? Yes? Why do you have the last name? I don't know. Alright, alright, alright. Do I remember something? The reason why she have my, my same surname? Her surname is Lockhart. That's the surname you remember her from. Okay. Okay, so it's not Arrow. Okay. Not the truth. Uh, at this point, I cannot. Give me a moment. Uh, the, I have Croft's number, yes? Yes. Okay. I text him. Compromised cops have a warrant. Jezebel is operative. She is at the House of Roses. Immediately respond. Thank you. Share with the son. I sent back. We need a pickup and a hideout. I'll send this to That was the reason. In the meantime, do we have like any manholes in the alley? No. Any other places to hide? Go back into the car and wait. Well, we're pretty much invisible. Yeah, not like that here. I am, yeah. Okay, I will keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, I'll take off my hat just to not be too obvious. Mm -hmm. You can keep it. In about 15 minutes. You know, you've been asked about the reason. Hey, uh, for how long he's been in the studies and whatsoever. Until a few officers walked in with weapons in the box. Asking if like the possession of the artillery.